Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is going to be a pick a card on who is spying on you. Today we have three piles to choose from. Pile one is going to be the Eight of Swords. Pile two is going to be the Four of Pentacles. And pile three is going to be the Tower. So these are the piles to choose from. Choose the pile or piles you're drawn to the most. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Some of the messages may or may not be for you. For a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. We're going to get started with pile number one. I'm going to move these to the side for a second. And we'll see what the messages are. So let's see. Pile one. You could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, number four or eight could be significant. I heard you're highly intuitive. I'm getting this card like this in my mind. Someone could try to block you, keep you stuck because she's tied up. Someone sends you the evil eye, but you were getting uplifted and moved forward. Like you were moving through this negativity, whatever it is. I also feel like, you know, when you're a child and you're like walking in the middle between your parents and then they lift you up or you have like your cousins or your friends or like an older family member and they like lift you up and then they help you like hop over for fun that's what i'm getting you can be very childlike but i'm also getting your spiritual team is going to help you jump over this like they're going to elevate you they're going to lift you up almost like you're levitating they're going to uplift your spirit so that you can get through this challenge this mountain this um negative energy that you're experiencing because i feel like some people are trying to cause you a lot of stress because whoever is spying on you doesn't want you to be happy this person um can be very selfish they could literally be a fool i heard the ace of spades i don't know if that's significant for some of you i think that's a song an old song this person could be goth whoever is spying on you or they have dark energy darker energy they like the night time where they're up at night more. This person could have been someone that you thought is your friend, 222, and all they do was create an imbalance. This could be a Scorpio, or this is you. I heard drink from my poison, a curse of bones, time and dust, things that were never meant to last. So if someone is spying on you because you don't want them anymore. And they can't seem to let you go even though you don't want them the situation is dead we have the ace of pentacles upside down yeah there is no stability here with this person because you were meant to move on i feel like this person wants you stuck and they say that the knight of cups so it's like you denied this person because the cups are very significant here cut cords with this person they're trying to get into your energy the spirit animal of the horse could be significant for some of you taurus Virgo, capricorn is what i'm hearing even though there's a lot of cups cancer Pisces, scorpio this is someone from your past who's spying on you could be a relationship a friendship or someone 333 yep yeah, someone that used to care about or still cares about you even though you don't want anything to do with them i feel like you are protecting yourself with the circle of protection some people are not meant to follow you on your spiritual journey. It's like people are only here for a season. This person's season has passed and you have moved on. Spirit animal of the bear could be significant as well. This person could like cats or they are intrigued by your intelligence is what I'm hearing. Either something with her or the baron could be protecting you as well. The person spying on you is someone who is not in your life anymore. They want to know how you're doing. They actually miss you. They want you back for 11. There could be more information that you're going to discover about this person. You guys could have similarities or this could have been a karmic connection at some point. But it's like the moment has passed. This is someone from your past. So with Mercury retrograde, they might reach out. They're thinking about it, but they know they cause a lot of stress. This person was very foolish for not giving you some type of stability with the Ace of Pentacles upside down. Whether that's a work situation, an old boss, an old coworker. A friendship a relationship take what resonates because i'm reading for a lot of people here but 444 angel number your spiritual team is protecting you and this person from your past is the one who is spying on you they miss you they feel lonely without you i'm getting more an energy of sadness and feeling bad for the way that they acted or behaved with you even though there is some jealousy and envy is what i'm sensing for some of you 
small amount of it, but for the majority, it's like they miss your energy because you made them very happy at one point, and now you're not in their life, so this person just misses you, and that's who's spying. They can watch your social media, or if they, if you have some type of, like, um, community page, or some type of platform, or a way for them to see your pictures, I see them thinking about you. The Six of Cups is past nostalgia, and this person is hoping that you can feel their energy. They may try to meditate or think about you a lot here. And you could be feeling them energetically, or they could reach out to you. But that's what I have for you as far as who is missing you. Oh, they're missing you. I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say who is spying on you. So they spy because they miss on you. They miss you, and they have regrets. I'm sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied here with retrograde around the corner. But this person misses you. They're in their head. You can feel them, is what I'm hearing, because you still have a cord attachment. You need to cut that cord, 555 angel number, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Pile one. We're going to get to pile number two. I'll leave that skull here to the side for a sec, okay? So pile two. Starting at 611. Four of Pentacles. You could be a Taurus, Barrow, Capricorn. You don't have to be, but let's see here. Who is spying on you? Someone wants what you have. They don't have a lot, but they think of you. This person is like in mental jail. They could wear glasses, so they have trouble seeing clearly. With the tower, Scorpio energy, wands, Arizio, Sagittarius. Oh, wow. Very interesting. Some of you guys could have a person spying on you. Others of you have a spirit or fallen angel from the underworld actually spying on you. I heard past loved ones or people who are um, spirits of the dead for those of you who are resonating because I'm getting number two is in between and you could be a medium and you're feeling the energy of the dead around you. It says fallen angel, was it even real? The paradise I fell from or are they just a nightmare? The realms I now roam. Hmm. You guys could be getting um, sleep paralysis or nightmares. I'm being told to turn this up right. Look at, I said the in between number two and we got the two. So yes, you guys. You're feeling the energy of the underworld. Hecate, Santa Muerte. Any like darker spirits. You could be a medium. And that's who's spying on you. I'm also hearing uh, someone who, yeah, it's like you're in between realms. This doesn't resonate, you know, you guys can watch a different reading, but for some of you, it could be a breakup with a relationship. It's a little too late, now you walked away, they created some drama, they feel bad, you let them go, you deserve better. You're moving on to better things. They could be very upset that you left them. Yeah, with the Four of Swords, you're kind of feeling like in this funk. Or this is you, where you... It's almost like your mind is now at peace. Lots of force. 44 could be significant. And then the 13, the 2, and the 8. So it's like an ending that had to happen. Also getting you could have a fallen angel or a goetic spirit protect you from this negativity. Created a separation. You have a lot of wisdom. This person was not meant to follow you. I'm also getting you have an angel in love with you. Fallen angel. Take what resonates there. And that's who spies on you. Different energies for different messages for pile two. Because you are this beautiful star. You are planting seeds and things are starting to bloom. You could have people spying on you that are no longer in your life. Because they see you doing well. And now they're curious how successful you're going to be. You're going to be pretty damn successful pile two. Look at that. It's like, this is, a, okay, so this one's the X here. I'm also getting their haters watching you move forward. You could have put your ex in a box or your ex try to put you in a box. Take what resonates there. Because I'm getting this is this person's energy in a box. And they were trying to do love spells on you to get you to come back. They're spying on you and they're upset because they see you moving forward. They see you walking away. And this person is sad. They could have done a spell on you, pal, too. For some of you, not all. But it's over 10... 10 with the 8 and the 2 and the 6 and the 4. I do see an ending here. This person tried to control you or did some type of manipulation at one point. I'm getting rose colored glasses. This person could have been narcissistic. 
as far as who is spying on you. They could have very long grungy hair because the blonde hair is really like, standing out to me. Or you could have long hair, brunette or blonde, take what resonates. Maybe wavy hair. I'm also seeing curls. This person could be very skinny because they feel like their Adam's apple really stands out for the males is what I'm hearing. You can feel the energy of them wanting to spy on you energetically. Pile 2, you guys are very gifted. They could be trying to block or hide from you so that you don't feel it, but you do. They think of you night and day. This person could be very lonely now without you because they're by themselves, but they daydream about you a lot and that's who spies on you. Do your salt baths and cleanses, pile 2, if you feel this person's energy. They are uh, manifesting a comeback with the new moon, is what I'm hearing. So, that's who spies on you, people who aren't in your life and see you being successful, people who are wanting you to not do as well as them, but primarily spirits and an ex, an old lover. And they could be Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Wands, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, Spirit. 11, 11. If you're dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they're your twin flame. You could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius because of the swords with the star. I'm also hearing um, if someone was creating problems for you by spying on you in a negative way because they're jealous haters. I'm hearing the fallen angel is the Lord Lucifer protecting you and helping you get through this obstacle or burden by helping you stand in your power and shine. So that's a separate message. We're going to get into pile number three. I hope that was helpful. Lots of messages all over the place. I heard just like the random messages, so you guys might watch random messages. But that's what I'm getting here, pile two. So... Thank you for watching. I hope that helped. Really quick reading there. Getting into pile number three. The tower. So two and three can go together because pile two also had the tower. And now we have number three, pile three with the tower as well, 12-12. So who's spying on you? I heard Teddy, like from Monsters, Inc. So someone really cares about you. The person or people for some of you who are spying on you i heard they're the real deal pal three is the real deal people who admire you pal three people who care about you pal three people who can't stop thinking about you pal three they're very drawn to your strength your charisma in the dance of shadows i conceal and evade fears veil keeps me distant in the dark school shade you can be very poetic i'm also getting you have a spirit guide who was artistic or creative somehow maybe they were a singer they're also um spying on you to see that you're doing well they protect your blessings your light is what i'm hearing the people who spy on you like you pile three um, I flipped it upside down sorry yeah these are people that you currently talk to your friends mutual um connections there's a lot of gossip here, pile three. Maybe do some stop gossip because there's a lot of chatter from different people. Yeah, it could be your boss gossiping about you like, oh, I thought pile three wasn't doing anything productive. And oh my gosh, they're actually really like well known. They're very well liked. They're actually doing really good. Like these are people that are um, getting inspiration from you. This could be someone who aspires to be like you and they're getting um, creative inspiration from you. But it's nurturing, it's positive, they literally want guidance from you. You guys could be a uh, tarot reader or you could be a leader of some sort. You could have your own business where you offer services here with the Queen of Pentacles and with the King of Swords. It's like you are standing up for yourself. The communication that you share with others is well received. You could be like a counselor or some type of therapist or your words of advice are important. The people who spy on you are people who actually want to seek advice from you. They want to know what you got to say because you got a lot to say and they like what you say. I'm also seeing someone here wants to aspires to be like you, wants to be like you, so they watch you to get um, creative inspiration. Some of them might copy you, but not all of them. I'm also getting a friend of me. They love you, but they hate you at the same time. Because they got, damn, how does Pal 3 get through at 1441? Yeah. You can also have people of the same sex that are also attracted to you. They think you're cute. They think you're, you're sexy. Guy, girl, doesn't matter. 
like if you're um if you're a guy you have another guy interested in you or if you have a girl you have another girl interested in you i'm getting same sex um what's it called i heard uh that attraction that sex appeal they're really drawn to your energy they like you it's like how come she does like this is your energy pile three you're in this energy but you don't even pay attention with the king of swords it's like you're just focusing on yourself you're moving forward and these are the energies that spy on you so many of them even have fairies and elementals spying on you the person who spies on you could wear a lot of earrings or their accessories or jewelry is what i'm seeing if it's a feminine energy maybe they do their hair up they tie their hair up a lot or their jewelry is very dangly is what i'm getting whoever this person is it's like they hate you but they like you and then they kind of copy you a little bit or they try to be like you which is kind of funny it's like a little sister like oh you put your hair up i'm gonna put my hair up too or oh you dyed your hair i'm gonna dye my hair too or oh you got a new outfit i'm gonna go get one too like they copy you but it's because they like you they want to be like you very childish type of energy they could pretend to say that what they're saying is authentic but they could just be um regurgitating your words like mimicking you saying everything that you say but doesn't sound authentic or original so people are knowing that they're noticing that this person is fake for those of you that have someone spying that's a little bit more on the negative side they are going to get caught for pretending to be something they're not their words is what i'm hearing so retrograde is going to help with that in your favor you have a lot of spiritual strength here with the strength card and the queen of pentacles so you're very successful here you could have i'm hearing for some of you not all the hounds of hell or some type of darker energy that is protecting you could be lilith for some of you or a different goddess or deity here that is underworld or a little bit darker energy that's protecting you but the person that spies on you is someone in your immediate social circle you will know you're going to get assigned or you may already know who this person is and this is just confirmation i'm hearing i'm jealous why they got it like that that's what i'm hearing for the pal three so pal three you could have people who are a little bit jealous of your beauty of your just you're just shining pal three you're a beautiful soul your soul is what is so beautiful and that's what attracts the right type of energy and the people who are jealous of you don't realize that they just don't understand because they are more focused on the 3d on materialistic things it's like this person could try to i don't know like they could try to work out or they could try to get new makeup or they could try to get a new wardrobe or something but they still can't quite be you because your energy is on such a high frequency it's like you're just glowing pile three you're going through a glow up moonstone could be significant you have the divine feminine energy upon you guy or girl you have that divine energy so lots of people who are spying on you, pile three, but it's more so, you could even have a neighbor who spies on you and is hating on you because you're doing so well. It's like your immediate social circle, your friends, could be even be family. For some of you, it could be your own best friend that is seeing you go through a transformation, step out of your comfort zone, maybe you're creating your own business or you have a new job or they see you doing something where you are accomplishing something your goals you're very focused on you're being goal oriented you're focused on the things you want to do and it's going to give you some type of stability here with the queen of pentacles and this eight of wands energy is a little upset at the fact that you're doing better than them there's a little bit of jealousy even among friends okay but you are strong you are moving forward pal three so the people who are spying on you they're just a little nosy and they're very gossipy so maybe some stop gossip oil maybe you burn some cloves to help calm down the um the negative talking about you so they can take your name out of their mouth is what i'm hearing and then do your cleanses and protect your energy for sure i see like a road opener you're opening a path to success so you're already on that and you have a strong spirit guide protecting you or past loved one who is guiding you through this okay so that's what I have for you, Pal 3. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Keep being your beautiful self. And I send you many blessings. Bye.